Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electro and today we're going to be progressing with our analog uh, input card uh, that is part of the S300 series family and the two signals that we're going to be concentrating today is going to be two parts video by the way of this because there's a two cards I want to cover with the wiring parts of it and we'll be concentrating on two wire transducer and four wire transducer those are quite the tricky uh, sensors if you don't know how they work it, will, it can really mess with your mind especially when it comes down to wiring and hopefully within these two couple of videos with these two specific cards you're going to be well on your way to understanding how this should work so uh, I happen to have a two wire sensor and for two wire sensor uh, how you can see in here it's a current transducer let me just uh, tell my camera to zoom in hopefully you can see that one just look at it here we go I hope you can see it. it's got two inputs two pins and, and then we have a, a four wire sensor it's got a five pins four of them are used so at least in that in our case maybe there's five views only two no it's five views so uh this one in here marketing for siemens it is a pressure sensor which is a two wire pressure sensor and it's wired absolutely different than a four five four wire even though they both do the same thing but it's wired differently so and that's what we're going to be uh, look at the two the, the two big uh, reasons uh the differences between them is that the two wire sensor takes a 24 volt in sends it through the sensor the sensor converts it into milli milli milliamps and sends it back onto the card for it to be read so four wire actually takes the power from the take i can accept plus and minus 24 volt dc supply does his business within the sensor and sends out four to 20 milliamp uh, signal or a zero to 20 milliamp or uh, there's some other ones uh, how many there's some other ones you can do we'll check it out in a minute now but those are most the most common ones. But the two wire usually can only do four to twenty. So we'll have a look at how it's wired today. We're going to have a specific look at how it's wired in a uh, zero KF card, which is a SM uh, 331 card in the Siemens PLCs. And in the next video, we're going to be continuing with it. We're going to have a look at how that's done in a seven KF 02 card because it's different. The seven KF 02 card is cooler and better. So without further ado, let's get started. Oh, here we are. So as usual, let's have a look at the gear we're going to be using today. Again, as usual, we have a uh, CPU 313C, and we have our I/O cards, and we also have two analog cards. And most, uh, and uh, the one we're going to be more or less working today again still will be with this card, which is the A0. Uh, I mean, the 1KF02. And in the next video, we're going to be looking at this card because it's absolutely different wiring for it. So uh, when we go, and obviously we have a drive in here, and we got a couple of testers and buttons and things like that. That's the ones we're not going to be using. So let's zoom in, and more particularly, let's align it with our camera. So that should be enough for us to understand what we're doing. So the power supply I'm going to be using is going to be this power supply in here. So uh, as you can see, there's a couple of uh, uh, outputs is coming in here. So for the two wire sensor, so let me just grab the end. I'm going to be using a standard five pin M12 plug. So it looks like that. This is most most common ones is being used. And we are going to, I lost my sensor. Where's my sensor? Here's my sensor. Uh, pretty much uh, plug that onto it and trying to line up the pin where's the pin is there is the pin there so uh, and then I'm going to talk you through how that works so generally for two wire uh, for two wire, uh, two wire transducers transducers the sensors whatever you want to call it so uh, for two wire transducers you, you often will go, you can get the cable that's only a two pin it will match this one or you can get five pin just to generally to explain what colors colors for that kind of uh, connection is usually brown and a blue uh, now you would say i uh, know for the for the four current uh, for uh, four wire uh, transducer blue brown and blue is a, a supply but not in our case for this one it's sort of supply but it's not supply so uh, basically what we're doing here we take a 24 volt uh, signal coming uh, basically 24 volt supply coming from this uh, power supply heading out to the brown one comes into the sensor then goes through the sensor does its business blah blah and sensor uh, sends back 4 to 20 milliamp and that 4 to 20 milliamp is coming back 
to the blue cable in here and then heading on to the analog card right in here guys remember we already covered about the two the how those channels are set up and things like in the previous videos so i know how this all works in there so do check it out if you want to see how we got to this point so current in for the first channel is a terminal at two but also remember we need to have a negative so also we need to send a negative, as you can see from this power supply, the negative has to go to terminal 5, which is RM port for the channel. So the power supply that the receive sends out 24 volts to the sensor, the same power supply has to send in a negative back to terminal 5. Make sure it's from the same power supply. So otherwise it will not work. So there we go. So that's how pretty much the two wire sensor is wired up. So uh, now let's jump on the TR portal and see how that works. So here we are. So uh, this is continuation from the previous video as we remember. So now we have changed this channel. Uh, this now because it used to be it was potentiometer now it's not so uh, we are uh, using uh, this uh, 256 which is our, our current uh, which, which is our input for that specific channel this is where we're going to be reading out the uh, signal that we are just about to test so we already done all this guys if you want to see how we got to this point do check out the previous video in the playlist so uh, first things what we need to do obviously we need to make sure that the system the channel that we're using is set to the current so and do make sure when you read up the sensor on every sensor will have what its output it is so i'll show that in a minute when you're going to come back to it and then my sensor is, literally says output is 4 to 20 milliamps so do make sure that is selected because if you go into the current in here as you can see once it decides to open up you get 0 to 20 plus minus 20 and 4 to 20 so make sure the cor uh, the correct one is selected so once you select it then load that uh, inside into the this configuration make sure that is loaded into the plc once you've done that so and we were going to go live in here we're going to look at a couple of uh, possible errors and possible problems you could identify what wrong what's wrong with your uh, sensor so uh, once the system is live we should be seeing some form of reading so as you can see i am seeing a 48 this guy in here this is 256 this is where we're sending the the 4 to 20 million back from the sensor so let me blow in see how strong i am with my breath <gasps> Oh, here we go. That's the maximum I can get. So basically, yeah, so I'm blowing in because there's only 0 to a uh, 1 bar in here. So I, 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 probably, I probably scored about 0.2 of a bar. That's as much as, well, at least as much as my lungs can do. So look what happens when the sensor disappears. Something happens to the sensor. And so I just, I just unplug the sensor. As you can see in the end of the video, I, I literally unplugged away. Now, and this is what you're going to be seeing minus 32,000. So if you see problem like that, the first thing you definitely check is how possible that your sensor is incorrect or no, not incorrect, broken or you potentially your uh, negative is missing. So uh, what we're going to do in here now, we are going to unscrew the positive. It's just let's let's unscrew that one out and see what happens then. So again, the same thing, negative, opposite, any of the wires could be broken. Again, this card, this specific card here does not, let me put in a two, no, it's a two, does not uh, have a diagnostics. It's got some form of diagnostics, but it doesn't have anything like, anything that you can see without actually connecting to the actual, a, uh, uh, PLC, it's, uh, without uh, connecting to the laptop. Uh, let's uh, go into so how do we oh, complete now I, I am completely lost completely forgot how to get to diagnostics so uh, uh, yeah, local modules so go into this one and then uh, right click it and then go online diagnostics let's let them open up and you can see in here diagnostic status in here all it's going to tell you is it's the standard diagnostics module exists okay and that's as far as as much as you can be able to read out of this card because this one doesn't have a built-in diagnostics into the next card we're going to check it out definitely does which is really cool so now we know how the two wire two wire transducer works so let's wire in the four wire transducer 
Right, so our next uh, sensor is in. So this is the All uh, Ultra uh, Sound uh, Sensor. This is basically a, a distance. So you can measure the distance. And you send the uh, 4 to 2. This is actually quite advanced sensor. You can send out a... Uh, uh, out, uh, you can send the 4 to 20 milliamps or 0 to 10 volts. Pretty cool stuff. So, wiring. So, let's have a look at what, as you can see, I'm using the same cable. All right. So, the wiring wise, if we look down here, as you can see now, you could, I've got a, I've got my little screwdriver down here. I've got the brown and the minor, uh, blue. I'll send it now 24 volts to the sensor. All right. This is the sensor. And then that sensor is sending it back for 20 milliamps through the white and the gray. Gray is a, in our often is a, when it comes down sensors like that, often is a common, which is a minus, and a plus a, is my, in my case, for the current is white, and for the voltage would be a black. Again, do check a wiring manual of uh, these sensors. I'm probably going to do some. Uh, uh, videos in the future. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see videos in the future how to set these sensors up. I'll have a look at it. Maybe I can do something for you. So that's pretty much now is firing back that 24 volt into exactly the same kind of wiring but different back to the, uh, the actual analog card itself. So let's jump on to the TI port and see how that works. So here we are, so uh, let's uh, take the center and position it more or less on the table so it just watches it properly. So uh, I would say, because he's not, the center is not set up at the moment. So I can find him, his zero position is, let's say, roughly about here. As my distance increases, it's about here, so like, as I say, my hand is just not steady. As my distance increases, I'm lifting my hand up and it just numbers just keeps going up. And up and up and so again sensor is not being configured to what me me distance measurement as you can see as I go up its numbers are going up as well and that ladies and gentlemen is your four wire sensor but this is the distance it sends you a data again this is not scale this is just move it's pretty much giving you an no idea from there on you can do some incredible stuff with compare and all other stuff that you would like to do and there we go that's sort of us giving you an idea of a four wire sensor in next video this is the end of the part one in the next video we're going to be checking out the 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 seven uh, the diagnostics part of this uh car in in a, in a 7kf card so uh definitely tune in for that so that ladies and gentlemen will do for this video uh do forget to like the video if you like the video and uh subscribe to your new channel if you like what we're doing here and other than that ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video